good, sad morning. Mm -hmm. Packing up our room. It's going, a great trip. Yeah, going to the Magical Express. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? <laughs> he just sees a lot on the TV. <laughs> James, we fall asleep on Sarah, and we're at MCO. We're early because we took Magical Express, so we're gonna get situated. That was our last Magical Express. Last, yeah, last Magical Express ever, because we will come back after the service is gone. Look who's awake! We're through security. We got a nice, a nice view for the tram. All right, we're having our last supper of vacation, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, healthier eating begins when we get home as we prepare for Dopey Weekend. Yeah, I think the word like healthier is maybe not accurate, just more like intentional. Yeah, feeding our That's bodies right. yeah, what more, feels good. We'll still get McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're having a pancake. My secret is I dip my hash browns in syrup. Mm. Lots of airplanes. Is this cool? Mm -hmm. Our airplane's not there yet. We got like half hour, 40 minutes until, <laughs> until we board. Are you standing by your own? I All right, even though Magical Express dropped you off significantly early, that kind of flew by, we're already, we're boarding in like 10 minutes, I think. Pick up a bottle of water for James's bottles on the plane, or bottle. So I want some Cheez-Its, and I picked up uh, a book. Kitchen Confidential by Anthony Bourdain because I've had many friends suggest it. I've looked into it before and I heard rave reviews, so thought maybe I'll get it started on the plane if James falls asleep. Here we, here we go. Onto the plane. All right, we're back at the hotel. I see our car, first step of a successful parking storage, um, and it wasn't that bad of a price. Would have been the same as taking a taxi here and a taxi back from our apartment. And this is better because we can go straight to eat and pick her up. Everything looks good on the car. Yeah. All right, I just gotta swing around front and pick up James and Sarah in the bags. Evie girl. Hi. Hi. We are home, we're putting on Santa Claus. Because it's Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So a beautiful skyline. Mickey Mouse is still repping some helium. Ooh. And um, James is just... <laughs> Jamesy is so happy to just not be confined anymore. We went from Magical Express to airplane to shuttle to car to the car again. This is the Mickey Mouse balloon Peter was referring to. It's not lost to me how wild it is that I leave Disney World and a beautiful Cinderella Castle to come pick up McDonald's dinner and walk out of the McDonald's to Wrigley Field. Home of the Chicago Cubs. Beautiful. Oh, there's a Christmas tree right there. What? What? I am such a twerp. I realized the tree is because of it's the Wrigley Chris Kindle Market that's coming, like, starting next week. Hello, everybody. 
Um, this is Sarah from the future, November 17th to be exact. I am just editing our final Florida travel day vlog. And as you can tell, it was pretty short. Um, we were so tired and got home and that was that after we ate our dinner. Um, however, I did want to put in a little bit of footage that we've taken over the past week here so that tomorrow we can start vlogging and just be fresh and on our normal schedule. It feels so good to kind of be refreshed and caught up. Peter is out on a run right now. He actually signed up for a gym, which I just wanted to like do this little recap um, because we don't have a ton of footage from this past week, but some of the things that happened, I will want him to share come tomorrow in the vlog, um, but he's out running. So I'm going to share um, just a little bit about our past week with you now. I mean, not a ton has happened since we've been home, um, but enough where we wanted to capture some and share it. So on vacation, we got a break from editing and posting. Since we've been home, we've had a break from full on vlogging. So it was almost like two weeks of like half vacation. Cause you know, when we were at Disney, we were thinking of the vlog, filming, all that stuff. And then since we've been home, I've been editing, but not having to think about filming. Um, so again, I just want to thank you guys for rolling with this different type of upload schedule for this trip um, and just being so understanding and loving whatever we put out. But it's always especially fun to put out something um, like vacation vlogs. So before I put any of that footage in, I wanted to say thank you. The day after we got back, I got to go to a 13 week ultrasound of our little baby, our newest baby that is in my tummy now. Um, and so I will put up that footage here of the ultrasound and their sweet little heartbeat. So relieved. <laughs> The next day, James had his one year checkup, which went really great. It was really just standard. The doctor kind of said something funny. I was like, I mentioned that he wasn't walking yet, but he thought he was like, just like needed to gain confidence that he's solid on his feet, cruising. She's like, oh, I didn't even ask because of that big head of his. Like, there's no way. Like, right now, he could not walk with his head and just the way his body's not totally balanced. He got the flu shot. He got his vaccines up to date. I mean, he's kind of been going through it as a one-year-old. He's been cutting teeth. He had his first fever. He had roseola. So we're kind of, I don't know, rolling with the punches. His sleep has kind of been a little off lately, kind of getting into a new one-year-old, I don't know, routine, sort of routine. Yeah, routine, just because he is in a different place, developed developing and he is taking in the world differently so now that james is one i don't know i'm excited to capture him on the vlog and he's just an incredible little kid so his his checkup overall was very good the next day we had highs and lows with the weather in chicago because one we had our first snow and two Peter realized how dark it gets here so early and we kind of forgot about that. So I'll put that footage in here. Alrighty, day three, we're not vlogging. We got Goofy Movie on, quite the toy mess. It is snowing, look at these massive flakes. Hey Peter, how's our, our fresh little baby look? Adorable. Why are you pouting then? <laughs> dark and it's three in the afternoon. Peter is really upset today about the time that the sun set. Thank you for the support, James. He also told me today that he misses Halloween. <laughs> Why are you got a skeleton in your mouth? Monster. 
And so the rest of this past week has kind of just been getting situated at home. We had some great time with family over the weekend. We had our, we had we put some Christmas decorations up, but just a little bit to kind of get us in this spirit because when we got back from Florida, I still had to take some Halloween down. We wanted to get it all organized, clean. I like to do things a certain way. So that is all situated and now we can decorate. So you will come along with that. Um, James really likes Rupert. Um, I got a couple of cute clips. At first he was like hesitant, um, but then he was like, he was all about him. So that was great. We booked some tickets. We actually made a, like a list of things of everything we want to do over the Christmas season. So we make sure that we don't miss out on anything. Um, so like I said, we bought tickets to a show. We have the Chris Kittle Market opening this weekend. We have the Mag Maya Lighting Parade this weekend. So a lot of fun Christmas stuff coming up. But truly, that kind of was it. We've just been settled and now we are ready to get back into the normal swing of things. So again, thank you guys so much um, for understanding, for coming along, for being friends, um, just for everything. And we will be back tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.